Hi, I'm Gus Lanzalotta. We're at Profile Racing, and today we're going to go over Euro bottom brackets and different spindle lengths. So we're going to start with the 5 and 5 8 spindle. And the reason why we shouldn't use a 5 and 5 8 spindle with an outboard bearing kit, as you can tell on this mock-up set that we already have done, where the spindle is actually inside the arm, and it only comes through 3 quarters of an inch, which is not recommended by Profile Racing. Uh, so having the 6 inch will bring the spindle further into the arm and give you more stability. So we're going to go ahead and put that together and then we'll show you guys what that looks like as well. So this is a Euro outboard bottom bracket with a 6 inch spindle. So what we're going to do next is put the arms on and kind of go show you guys where the arm will end up once it's all evened out. So we'll slide this on and we have these mocked up just for this video of sliding on. So we get the drive side and we'll put the non-drive on. And just FYI, there is no extra spacers needed for the non-drive side. So when these things are completely tightened up with the pinch bolts, what you're going to have is you'll have an eighth of an inch, roughly about an eighth of an inch on each side of the spindle inside the arm. So you'll have total coverage across the, the boss of the arm with the spindle. And then just tighten them down you're good to go. So now we're going to go over the Euro inboard bottom bracket. And a lot of times you can use the 5 and 5 8 spindle and in some cases you may have to use a 6 inch spindle. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go over the two options of how you can use these spindles on the Euro inboard. The first option is the Euro inboards come with these cones and the cones go on each side dry side and non-drive side. And what will happen is if you're using the uh, spider, spline drive spider, as you can tell, it's actually dished back over top of the bearing. So what we'll do is we'll put this on and then we would insert the spindle and then once your gear is on it'll be dished a bit closer to the chain alignment. If it's still too far out then what you can do is use one of these provided spacers that come in the package with the Euro bottom bracket. You can put that spacer on there, take off the cone, and you'll get a lot closer. So, once we got this cone on, we're, we're going to use the cone because it's the right way to do it with the, with the spider. You go ahead and put the arm on, I'll show you guys about where you're going to end up with the 5 and 5 8 spindle. Okay, so with the Euro bottom bracket being narrow than the outboard bearing, when the spindle comes through, you'll end up about an eighth of an inch, just like you would if you had a six inch spindle on an outboard bottom bracket. What that means is that the spindle is all the way through the arm where it needs to be, and you'll be able to tighten them bolts down and go riding. In review, use a 5 and 5 8 spindle for a Euro inboard bottom bracket and a six inch for the outboard. Thanks for tuning in.